Thanks for joining us on Sky News Weather this afternoon. The Bureau of Meteorology today released their climate outlook and Andrew Watkins from the Bureau of Meteorology had this to say about what is coming up this winter. So the pattern is, looks like it will continue into winter with our cold fronts that normally bring rainfall into Australia at this time of year further south than normal. Also, because we're not getting that cold air coming up from the south and because we might have clearer skies as well, less cloud, looking like it'll be warmer than normal as well. So it looks like we're going to see drier than usual conditions across a large portion of the country, particularly over the inland southeast. And unfortunately, it's these regions that are currently generally the ones that are in drought. So the drier conditions, unfortunately, look like continuing through winter with higher than usual pressure and fewer than usual cold fronts. And that's why uh, it's going to be warmer than usual, particularly in terms of maximum temperatures across winter, especially in that southeastern corner. But it's potential that we're going to see dry, warmer than usual conditions across the north and also parts of the west as well uh, but it's going to be a little bit closer to average for most of those regions with some seeing a touch below average I would expect. Now in terms of the weather happening at the moment there have been thunderstorms today in Perth and quite a few of them and some areas have seen as much as 50 millimeters including sandalwood so that's a bit to the south of Perth. You can see some of these images it's been pretty dark as the storms came through. Here's the radar. Uh, the showers and thunderstorms are slowly progressing eastward. They've all cleaned, cleared out of Perth now. They've all moved off to the east. Uh, the heaviest falls were to the south of Perth. Perth only collecting five millimetres in the gauge, as you can see here. One millimetre for Bunbury. Uh, but some areas saw as much as five millimetres in just ten minutes. Uh, so there were some isolated heavy falls amongst the showers and storms, but quite a few places, including Perth itself, only saw a reasonably light total. Uh, so at least some places have seen some good follow-up rain, but more follow-up rain later on in the week. More on that in my Extreme Weather Outlook. But you can see, uh, in terms of what we're seeing tonight, showers and storms continuing over the inland, but on the west coast we're going to see conditions drying up fairly substantially into tomorrow. Here's the satellite picture. We've got the cold front running through there uh, in... Uh, shaded in white with all of that cloud there, but high clouds spreading across the inland of the, of the nation. And generally speaking, there's no rain in that at all. Uh, we've got a bit of cloud along the New South Wales coast now, and that's due to a low pressure system. So you can see that here on the chart. It's quite a complex system, quite a few troughs with that, and it's driving fairly strong winds along the coast, and that swell is also going to be picking up as well. Uh, we had some snow with those showers over the Victorian ranges and New South Wales ranges overnight into this morning. That's all cleared up now. The showers running along the coast. Uh, generally speaking, they're all offshore. Just a couple have made landfall near Nelson Bay now. And all of this, that's all interference on that radar. You could ignore that. There's no rain occurring in the Upper Hunter. In terms of what's happening uh, over the next 24 hours, you can see showers are likely to develop along the coast. So the ones that are sitting off the coast at the moment should move overland tonight into tomorrow morning. Uh, so most places will see a few showers tomorrow along the central coast of New South Wales. The north coast of New South Wales should be dry in the south coast. Just the odd shower here and there. Nothing for inland areas across New South Wales tomorrow. In terms of the swell though, it is definitely rising. So we're starting to see some larger waves building onto the New South Wales coast. And with that, we've got a severe weather warning. And so that stretches from Taree in the north down to Ulladulla. And so along that stretch of coastline, we're likely to see uh, average waves offshore nearing about five metres, even six metres in the next 24 hours so it's likely to lead to some beach erosion dangerous conditions along the length of the New South Wales coast we've got quite a few beaches closed through the next few days as well I would expect and in terms of the uh, the abnormally high tides we're expecting they should peak on Friday night when we're going to see some places uh, seeing some coastal inundation that is likely due to the high tide likely to be about half a metre above the highest tide of the year. So very substantial conditions expected there. Now in terms of temperature at the moment, it's fairly warm across the north and cool across the south, but tonight in the southeast of Australia, it's going to be quite a chilly night under that ridge of high pressure with quite a few places likely to see the coldest morning so far this year.